Hello. So last week we talked about who am I? This week we're going to be talking about what do I want? How can I use visualization to figure that out? And then how do I figure out what the next steps are? I'm going to talk about a few different things today. So I'm going to talk about what do I want? How can visualization help me to get really, really clear on this? <laughs> Number two, now that I know what I want, let's set an intention to guide me. Number three, what steps do I need to take to get what I want? And this can be a little bit tricky. So number four is what to do if I don't know what steps to take. And the law of objectivity is what I'm going to talk to you about today. So what do I want? How can visualization help me get really, really clear on this? And this is an important one. So what I want you guys to do is sit down and think about what you think that you want, right? So we've touched on this a little before, and I want you to write down two or three of those things, two or three of those goals. Then I want you to do a little bit of research, right? It doesn't, it's not all fun and games. <laughs> There's work involved too. So I want you to do a little bit of research. So what does a day in your life look like when you've achieved that goal? So let's say your goal is I want to have an agent, right? So what does a day in your life look like when you have an agent? Well, I can tell you, you can't go on vacation spontaneously because you have to let your agent know that you're going to be away so they don't submit you, right? Um, you get an audition sent to you today and the self tapes due tomorrow. So you kind of need to literally drop everything. If you have, you know, plans with your friend that night, it's sorry, <laughs> you know, I've got an audition due, right? So does the idea of that excite you or does it make you think, oh my God, I can't think of anything worse than having to run my life that way. So let me know, pop it in the chat and, and let me know. Cause I know that's a big goal for a lot of people. So what about when you reach the big goal, right? What about when you're at that level of winning that Oscar, or let's say your big goal is to be a lead in a series. What does your day look like then? So you wake up early, you go work out, you have to go do press, you're sitting in hair and makeup, you're looking at 17, 18 hour days, then by the time you go home and you gotta learn your lines for tomorrow, does that excite you guys? Does that sound like something that would be fun for you, something you'd be excited to do. And here's the thing, if it doesn't excite you, if you don't like that, then it's like, okay, maybe it's time to pick a new goal, right? That doesn't mean it's not acting, it just might mean it looks a little differently, right? But if you love it, if that's what gets you all jazzed up, then that's what to focus on. And what, what you focus on is where your energy goes. So, point number two, now that we know what we want, Let's set an intention to guide me. So if your goal is to get an agent, what could your intention be? Does anyone have any ideas? So if your goal is to get an agent, then maybe your intention could be to create the best reel ever, right? The best reel that you could possibly create to send out to different agencies to highlight your work. So then it's like, okay, well, how do I do that? Right? If that's my intention, I train, I find people to help me and critique my work and, and then this is where your intention comes into play because things might happen like, you know what, you have the option of training or doing something that's going to move you forward or, you know, further your craft or you get invited to a party. And, you know, that's when you have to ask yourself things like, is this helping me achieve my goal? Is this in line with my intention? And that's not to say that you shouldn't go out to a party. <laughs> I'm not saying that you definitely need fellow time, but I'm just using that as an example of how you use that intention. So yeah, so ask yourself these things. And when you're setting your intention, make sure it's something as you're going through your day, you're asking yourself that, right? Because it's no good just to set it and then to leave it there. It's something that you want to be using throughout your day, right? Uh, okay, so if your goal was to be an actor role, what could your intention be for that? Or if your goal was to be a lead actor, what could your intention be to be a lead actor? Maybe your intention would be Okay, now you're booking, you've got the actor roles, now I wanna be a lead actor, so maybe my intention could be to create the person that I need to be in order to be a lead actor. You could ask yourself things like, is what I'm doing something that aligns with creating the person I need to be a lead actor? And then you'll, it'll help you make choices throughout your life as you go. So number three, and this is a biggie. So what steps do I need to take to get what I want? And why can this be tricky? and what to do if I don't know the steps. How do I overcome that, right? So now that you have your goal in mind and you have your intention, 
right? So you're going to go home, you're going to do that homework, you're going to get really clear on the goal, you're going to set a really great intention for yourself. Now we're going to use visualization as a way of figuring out what the next steps we need to take are. And I encourage you when you're setting uh, your goal, so once you do the research, then go through and visualize what that looks like. See how that makes you feel, right? Then we can go back and set our intention, then we can go on to the third step. So we have our goal in mind, we know what we want, we have our intention, and now we're going to use visualization as a way of figuring out what the next steps that we need to take are. Okay, so now we're going to sit down and visualize the next steps that you need to take. But sometimes what happens, and let me know if any of you have run into this, excuse me, sometimes what happens is that you can see the big goal over here, right? And you can see where you are now, but you can't visualize the steps in between that you need to take to get there. Maybe because you don't have a clue what they are. Maybe you've never done it before. So that's when I want you to use something called the law of objectivity. And that's just a really fancy way of saying that you replace yourself in the visualization with someone that you look up to. Now, this isn't a new concept, right? I'm not the only one that talks about this. So sometimes replacing yourself can be really, really helpful because you may not be able to envision yourself going in and asking the boss for a raise or yourself going in and finding an agent. Like, how the heck would you do that, right? You've never done that before. You don't know. But what would Dolly do? Or whoever you admire. If you don't have anyone, you can pop me, your friend Donna Marie, in there. <laughs> what would Donna do, right? Donna would do some research. What's the best way to find an agent? How do you write a cover letter? Donna would find a community. Who can I get to help me achieve this goal, right? Who can I learn from? Dolly would take a class, right? She'd learn all she could and make her work super incredible, the best that it could possibly be. So sometimes it helps to ask yourself, what would someone you love or admire do? And if you don't have anyone in mind, pop me in there. Pop your friend Donna Marie in there. What would Donna Marie do? And just watch how the possibilities start to open up, right? How your creativity starts to flow and how the answers just seem to come to you. It's really, it's really kind of incredible. So you're going to see all these possibilities start to open up. And I know what you're probably thinking is Donna. You always tell us to visualize in the first person or the third person, right? But always seeing ourselves, always it being you. So doesn't this go against what you normally teach? And the answer is no, because that's not the full story. <laughs> so I'm gonna get into it a little more with you guys. So once you've finished visualizing your idol doing this, right? Or me doing it or Dolly doing it or whoever you wanna put in there. Once you visualize this person doing that, then I want you to put yourself beside them. Right? I want you to do it as a team. So see yourself doing this experience again, this time, but with your friend Donna Marie right beside you. Or whoever it is you want right beside you. See them telling you that you can do it. Right? See them making the decisions for you, but then see yourself following through and succeeding with that person right beside you, holding your hand, cheering you on. Right? See yourself doing it with them. Then what I want you to do is take all of those skills that you've learned, right, using this technique, and I want you to see yourself doing it. So after, you, after your, your idol's done it, after you've done it with them, now you're going to do it for yourself, right? See yourself achieving those goals. See yourself killing it. And does that make sense? It's, it's incredible how clear things will become for you. So I think with that, I will bid you all adieu. I will see you on screen and I can't wait to work with you next week and hear about kind of how all of this goes for you guys and how the goal setting and now you've got the who am I, let's work on the uh, what do I want, right? And get really, really clear on it. So fantastic. Have a super Thursday, everyone. So great to see you all and I will see you next week. Bye. I hope you enjoyed today's free class. Pop your answer to the question in the comments below so that I can come back and help you out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on a free class. Better yet, if you want to take part in our free classes live, join our Facebook group. The link is in the description for this video.